With the end times approaching, the sky was black, smothered by dark clouds. In this age of war and chaos, hope could only be found in the standard of Solon. To the west, Bretonia's nobles fell to disunity, and their disunity led to their destruction. Gel argued that no treaties were broken when he sent his armies into their shattered kingdom. The Greenskins, undead, and even the cunning Ratman carved out their fiefdoms. In the northern Grey Mountains above Helmgard stood the undead legions of Kimler. His forbidden magic pilfered the barrow mounds and graveyards of the nearby towns to bolster his number. Captain Otto and the Crusader Gregor joined Gelt in their attack on his abode. Here did the veterans of Solon follow their leaders into the battle. In southern Bretonia, Emperor Karl Franz cooperated with the plans and machinations of Gelt. His men took to the massive or call. If the Greenskins were finally flushed from their caves, some claimed that they saw the spirit of Sigmar himself in the Emperor. So violent was his fury that the Greenskins broke before him. And finally to the north, General Bernhard enjoyed a reprieve from the Badlands. What was left of the Bretonian nobility took residence in Caron. Their hubris kept them from surrendering. Terrified peasants were forced to stand between the banners of Soland and their stern masters. No joy came to the general with what he had to do. A mercy was dealt when he ended their servitude quickly. With the West pacified, the full brunt of the empire was brought to the fore. Now the empire would strike back. And here we see Geld's strategy unfolding before our eyes. Remember how I was talking about the shield? The dwarves control the mountains, which means again, we are divided from our enemies. Over to the west, only one duchy remains. That would be Artois. I gave them all of these lands. In my mind, Geld would be pragmatic. Sure, we could just paint the map and take over everything, but then we would need to defend it. And because we're playing mortal empires, were exposed to the world. That means more and more enemies would eventually come to our borders. So why not consolidate? That's what we've done. We've now built a level playing field where they can't even get to us. Down over here, there are many orcs, but they're fighting the dwarves. And we saved the dwarves. So we're on great terms. Remember how they were falling apart? They're no longer falling apart. They're okay now. The Pirates of Sartosa, they're around, but they'll fall apart one day. We've got Skaven, I mean, look, there are some enemies, don't get me wrong, but now they're minimized. Down south, surprisingly, the Bretons have done well, and so have the Imperials. They control the Black Tower of Arkin. To me, the forces of order are holding on just okay. The High Elves are fine too. They don't need to worry too much. Sure, it has a few enemies, but they're doing fine. But let's go over our own armies right now. That's what we truly need to do as we need to move on in just a bit. So Gelt has been able to take on minor armies to level up, and now he's at level 50. And that makes him rather powerful. I mean, he's always been powerful. He's been able to blaze through everyone. But as you can tell, he's been seeing a lot of explosions lately, and he's got to protect his eyesight. But here he is right now with a very powerful army. He'll have to fight Azazel. Once we fight Azazel at Castle Von Rocken, that faction should be broken. See, I've built up a stage now for our final episode, the Champion final battles. The Over here, we've got the Grand Crusader, Klaus von Sol. He's been incredible. And we're going to have him go after Festus, the Leech Lord. And see, the plague is here. That's grating, but that's okay, too. Further down, we've got Emperor Karl Franz, who needs to replenish a little bit. What we could do, we could combine what we have right now and maybe even recruit some new unit. I could get something over here that could help out, like the Reichsguard for one option. I could get the Griffites. I've got the money now. So, you know what? Let's do that instead. Let's just come over here, here and get what we need. Again, I would like some dwarves, but instead we'll keep it easy and just pick up some knights too. There we go. So now we have all of that. He's got Wanderer Bruno Hasselhoff and Captain Adalbert Allenstock. So they're going to have to replenish, otherwise they're going to take a lot of damage. Or I could have Bruno just pop out, come over here, bother a settlement, maybe get some experience. Yeah, there we go. Then we come over to Middenstag. Yeah, if I auto-resolve with Bruno in our party there, he might have died. But there, now we have Middenstag. So he won't be able to replenish for one turn, but that's okay. He still gets experience, and we still get to take over Middenstag. Level 42. 
So what do we want for our dear leader? Well, if you look at what I've given him, he's got everything. He's doing fine. I could give him leader of men, which is what I will do. So look at that. It's going to reduce our upkeep by a bit for Reichsguard and Greatswords and increase our leadership or size. After that, we'll go over to Middenstock and we're calls. just going to get a weaving house. Done. Okay, beautiful. Now, we also have over yes, here General Bernhard von Sol. They all come from a fort. They weren't born there, but they have yeah. served over there. We'll have him go over to Middenheim. Now, that garrison is pretty terrible, so we're going to spend one turn just chilling out for a bit. We only have, what, flying war machines. We've got some pennants over here. I'll give one over to our dwarf friend. We've got a standard, too. I'll give it over to our general. And more leadership. So what needs more leadership? Maybe some great swords for fun. There we go. And we'll go after them in, like, a turn. Of course, I could go in and shoot them up. So I've got options. I'll think about it. I might even change my mind. Hunt up north, forage. we've got the Huntsman General Hans Schneider. Now, Schneider has Captain Reiner over here. And he's got, of course, Iron Breakers. We've got Dwarf Halberdiers. We've got some mercenaries, too. Some ogres. So that's going to be a very interesting army. And we've also got Little Grom. And we could have him go after Dieter Schaefen. Now, let's see. They have very little over there, so we'll just auto-resolve it. Again, I've built up a major stage for this finale here, where we only want to unite the Empire. We could try to paint the map, but again, it's been done. I've done it. We don't need to do it again. I have painted many things. Many, many things. We own so much land, so I'm feeling pretty confident in where we're at right now. If I look around, that's what I have. I could get more armies, but I'm choosing not to, because I like to know my cast. So now... Let's begin with our first battle. We'll go after Do Azazel, the Prince of Damnation. Me. I mean, look at him. He wants to be attacked. It's probably his kink, and I'm not here to kink shame, or maybe I am, but that might be his kink, because, you know, Slanesh, he's just like, oh, yeah, come over here. All right, well, <laughs> let's go fight him, but not because he wants us to. And here is where the captain and Geld are going to go after Azazel and take him out. At least that's our dream and hope. Here, they're flying in. They're going to use magic and, of course, martial might to break him. Azazel's quite powerful, so there's going to be some drama here. There, he's miscasted a spell by trying to overcast it. He's been surge struck, providing some debuffs for now. That's really good for me. The captain, he's actually fighting a pretty good fight. We're using a searing doom to try to damage some nearby marauders. Nothing too major, of course. And the captain is holding his own against a legendary leader. The Avalanche Runefang is debuffing him, but of course, he's got his own buffs too, so he's at over 700 weapon strength, which is a lot. We don't need to worry about our main army just yet, because again, we're just here to look at what our units are able to do. There goes some Golden Hounds, killing a few Marauders. The captain continues to fight up in the sky, and the drama continues. Final transmutation is going to be our key here. Plague of Rust, a transmutation of lead just to debuff him. And there's a final transmutation. If only he was alone. He's trying to move away, but he's not quite away, is he? Now, Otto, he's having to move back a little bit to charge back in because look at how much damage he took. That's what I'm talking about. The demon is hard. And so we fight again. We use another final transmutation just to damage Azazel a little bit more. And that hopefully will do it for Azazel. Because once we take out Azazel, we can go after other targets and hopefully survive a bit longer. There, we can hold down space and see where we're at. We're very close to taking him out. And he's fallen. That's it. There is no more demon for right now. And so the army now marches forward. But keep in mind, we did use a lot of magic. Not only did we use a lot of magic, we took a lot of damage too. So we come back over here to see what we're doing. For our formation, we're moving back into not a complete corner, but we want to use terrain to our advantage. We have over here grenade launchers on my right flank, our autos bombers. We've got knights right behind our main lines. We've got on each flank to the left and right sides, our Solon Braves, our great swords, and they look gorgeous. Have a look at them right now. If we keep on looking around. We've got some hand gunners, only two groups, our Hawkeyes. They deal 43 missile damage. Up on the front lines, I've got my Gelt's Guard. They have a lot of armor. They're very good at what they do. They're going to be over here fighting with Geld. We have a reinforcing enemy army that's going to be advancing. They have their own leader, a Chaos Sorcerer Lord of Fire, so we've got to watch out for that. But of course, we've got artillery and other tools. We're attacking some Daemonets at the moment, and 
demonets. I said demonets. I don't know why I say demonets, but if I do, just know I'm crazy. And there, we've got a steam tank, too, that's also going up. Um, don't forget, we've also got our warrior priest. He's very good. Ooh, and overcast. Dealing a lot of nearby damage to adjacent units, but nothing that's going to change too much for us. Look at that. Our braves are moving in again. They're doing just okay. We zoom back out just real quick, just to have a more broad look, and we can see what's happening. So I've got some knights moving over here, or my bombers and my knights. I want to go after some of my enemies on their flanks. We've got, of course, our Sunmaker, our wonderful Hellstorm Rocket Battery attacking some of their units, and we're shooting these units over here too, because we've got to break them down before they charge in, maybe into our Hawkeyes. Elsewhere, our great swords are having to hold the line, which is what they're doing at the moment, but it's going to be a difficult battle. Here's a Searing Doom just to soften up our enemies right from behind, and that's going to damage them while they fight the great swords, which is going to be, of course, beneficial for the great swords. If we look elsewhere, we've got a Manticore now charging down into our steam tank, and Otto's having to move in. Look at that. It's pretty good. We've got another awesome spell being used to weaken them. If we look again, their Chaos Sorcerer Lord is now fleeing. If I move out again, let's have a look. We're being approached from the left flank, the center, and right now we're handling one more side, that reinforcing army. I've got over here my Sun Riders, my Knights who are charging into the woods, and I'm also able to shoot at them with my bombers too, which is pretty nice. We've got these chariots to take out. They're actually hitting a few of my bombers. That lighting is gorgeous, by the way. Jeez. All right. Let's go back over here real quick. It's a pretty wild fight, I think. It's been fairly dramatic. So, we've got a steam tank. 30 kills. 30 kills total. Gregor has 13 kills. Let's just kind of go over a few kills right now while we wait for their forces. We're attacking some Chaos Warriors with our artillery. Our artillery has how many kills? 24 for Otto's Fury, our canning group. Our Sunmaker has 64 kills, which is not a lot. Our Hawkeyes, they're getting some kills. They're damaging them. They're not getting a lot, though. But here they come right now. We've got, of course, so much to worry about over on the right-hand side. That's where I've got my bombers. Now, my bombers are fighting horsemen. These guys are pretty, well, primitive. They've got throwing weapons. Meanwhile, I've got grenade launchers. I think we have it in the bag, and so they're fleeing. So whenever I fight horsemen like that, I love to use grenade launchers. It's just such a quick and easy win. Back over here on the left-hand side, we've got, what, Otto going after those chariots. Those chariots are finally gone. We've got our great swords pushing out a little bit further. They've got nearly 200 kills, our second Sultan Braves. A little bit further over to the right, we've got more of our Geld's Guard holding. I'm using our Glittering Robe on our Braves right now, providing even more armor, so they take very little damage while they get to fight all over here, just thrashing against so many different enemies. They're somehow doing it. Now, I could focus on just cinematic shots. I like to kind of do both because, again, the visuals are so beautiful. If not, why would you really care about the graphics if I told a war game? But on the right-hand side is where I've got my bombers, again, destroying what they have coming in. They were trying to move in, but you're able to see corpses litter the battlefield, and it was to no avail for them. Now, I'm going to send in some more units. We've got a few explosions that are happening a little bit too close, so hopefully we'll be okay. They've got Chaos spawn, and further out, we've got, of course, Gelt continuing to attack and help out. Let's see, we've got a horrific musk that's currently debuffing my braves at the moment. The demonettes are still attacking. If I zoom back out real quick, we're able to see what's happening at the moment. Otto is nearly knocked out. He's nearly dead, but he's alive and he's fighting. My knights are having to stay here. My sun riders are not really able to move. They've got over 200 kills right now. My second braves have 234 kills, but I've got some reinforcing units coming in, like my first guild's guard. Any type of help is going to help a lot. And there's some more artillery that we're using right now to go after those who are fleeing. That way, they'll either shatter or they'll just be so weak and by the time they come back, it won't even matter. Now, my steam tank, well, look at that. They're fighting aspiring champions. And guess what? Sword doesn't beat tank. Tank beats sword. We come back over here. They've got some chaos spawn moving in. Or some former aspiring champions. Now they're just spawning. After that... The Hawkeyes, they're just shooting right into the mixture of a bunch of different units. 59 kills and 80 kills, so they're doing fine. Ooh, that was really close. I hope that didn't hit. No, no, no. Everyone's alive. Yeah, my Sunmaker was very close. So I'm going to zoom out real quick because there's a lot going on. See, these battles can be fairly micro-intensive, and I'm not... I'm okay at the game. I can play on Legendary and do all right. 
do all of that stuff, but I used to play a lot more multiplayer. But I'm rusty. I'm really rusty, so I'm doing my best right now. I haven't played as much as of late. Now, let's have a look real quick. We've got, again, just a bunch of units that are currently breaking. We're fighting what's left, which are going to be those aspiring champions who were transformed into Chaos Spawn. They're not going to get a lot of kills. Their stats overall are not great. They're just better at their staying power than anything else. They're good at not dying. They're good at being hit. No, they're really not too bad. And here they come. Look at those attacks. Feels like a movie. They're charging in, yet they're being lit up, but still they persist. They do not quit. The bombers are hitting them. The handgunners are hitting them too. The battle's been won. We've beaten our enemies. Look, they're breaking. And we won it. That's it for the battle. Good work, everyone. That was only one dramatic conclusion to one of our many enemies. We've got more to attack. Now that was a really good win. We took him down, we lost only 96, but again, it's one of those situations where it's a tightrope. If I make one bad choice, I could lose an entire group, and after that, many more. But we did it. We had the magic, we had the power. We beat Azazel. The War Band of X, they're done for. We just need to replenish for a little bit, then go after other targets. How dare you turn my lands purple and pink? I have nothing against it, but everything? a bit gaudy. Oh, look at that. Jurgen Muntz. That name I might be familiar ready. to a few Are of you. you. We'll see. We'll see who knows. Alright. Rank 35. He's got pretty much everything. I'm just going to give him Sigmar's ward. If they shoot at him, he's going to be like, ah, I got Sigmar. In my blood. In my soul. I'm okay. Then we've got the Crusader, Gregor Hohenfels. Alright, here's what we'll do. We'll give him what? It's an easy option, I think. Another ward. Oh, another point. Okay. He's got that conviction. Plus two to conviction. That's how I gauge my own faith as well. I go, okay, do I have a plus two or plus four? I don't know. All right. I'm not convicted about my conviction. So we get to wait over here for like a turn or so. We've got what? Rulek, who's barely alive. He got away. Got some wood over here some wood elves who've got some land and that's okay they need to have that land let them have it it's just a border territory so now what do we do i think it's a pretty simple choice we go after the leech lord and that could be a bulk of our threats i don't know it could be i was hoping to have corn down here but there was no corn nope no fibrous corn here not happening but now let's get the grand crusader we're going to pop him out. All right. Come over here. We'll use bravado. And why don't we pick up a ward save of 10%? Yeah? Just to be a little bit beefier. Now, we've got Luther Nimitz on our side. Wolfgang of Sylvania, if you remember him. And Otto von Walden. I always like to give my characters custom titles. I don't know why. It's just part of my own world building. Like, I have my own order. So, here we go. But we'll go after Festus. Oh, he's a big one. He's got a lot of Warhounds. He's got some other weird units. Really strange army, but the reinforcing forces are really going to add a lot to the overall threat. Now, over to Crudenwald we go. We've got our heroes over here, my little Pathfinder adventuring party. They're going to charge in and take out our enemies, hopefully, without any help. If anything, we'll bring in some knights to charge in and really break them down. We've got all of these buffs from a Grand Crusader and a Warrior Priest. I keep saying Grand Crusader like it's an actual class in here, but the Arch Lector, you get what I mean, though. You know how I like to name my own heroes and lords. I just like it a lot. It's world building for me. Now, here's our main line. They're going to go after Festus eventually. Oh, yeah. He's way out over there, just waiting to advance. They've got a lot of forces advancing. But for right now, let's look back at the actual battle that's taking place. We already took out the enemy lord. It didn't take that long. That's how tough my group is. Now, I've been thinking about this. If I remember right, and you can tell me if it still stands, a lot of people really enjoyed the little narrative tutorial that we had in here. Well, I feel like that should be something that should be pursued. 
it would really change things up and I'm not sure if they have really the capacity to have like a sandbox game and a type of like narrative campaign but to me that would be the coolest future Total War game for historical reasons or otherwise so it's a little bit easier whenever you have heroes so back in Warcraft 3 naturally you would have like the conventional gameplay unique objectives that would crop up per map but you would constantly have a narrative and story that would be tied into everything and then you would have some more unique situations more so in of course the frozen throne where you would just have like heroes on certain maps and you would have to use them wisely you would have to micro them in order for you to do well and i found that really fun so like here i just use one little party to savage several enemies and i also remember back in was it shogun 2 or fault of the samurai or both both i believe where they had custom maps and there they had unique benefits if you were to take different points like one might re like replenish ammunition things like that or maybe that might have been the only one it's been years since i last played but all of that could be really cool and i feel like it would be nice to just have like one total total war game where there were new things added in and old things were also added back in so what i mean by that is that at times there would be features that would be taken out of a prior game and later added in in a few games down the line Think about all of the fire damage that we had in Attila, how cool that would be. Catching the woods on fire to take out some demons. I mean, all of that. Adding more comp more complexity like that is a good thing in my view, because right now I know the game has gotten extremely micro heavy, especially in multiplayer and things like that, just because there's so many more abilities you've got to worry about, so much more clicking to do, and it's tough because like for me i don't mind focusing on micro but if i wanted to do that i would play starcraft 2 but here the visuals are so gorgeous i go out of my way to get mods and other things like that to even enhance them that's how much i love looking at this it's like seeing just a beautiful fictional world come to life and it's really fun to watch and just really imagine what it would be like to fight that for fun you know now over here we've got a flying manticore they're not going to be moving towards us and that was just like a little mid-battle rant a little well not really a rant i had a purpose i had a meaning behind it but now we just need to advance with our artillery because if we do that if we begin to shoot at them we'll antagonize them and they're going to get ticked off and come towards us so that's going to be our goal we're just going to take our time move up get ready we'll use our luminarch as well see look we got it right over here i actually really enjoyed this name we've got luther sermon look at that we're gonna drive a little bit further and we're gonna blast them oh yeah we're gonna go in blasting there it goes right now one zap in and that's what I'm gonna do if you're not gonna move why am I gonna give you any benefits at all no I'm gonna sit here for a moment I'm gonna zap you a lot especially if they're planning on not doing anything at all so you can watch me just do my thing whoa he dodged it now, I wonder, is Festus a stand? I don't know. It might be. That might be the actual demon on its back. I don't really know. But here they come now. They're actually moving forward. That's all you got to do is poke the diseased cocaine bear. And bam. It comes at you. Now, in fact, that would be terrifying. All right. So we have zero kills right now. But that doesn't really inform you of what my Luminarch has been doing. Now we have, of course, our artillery firing into some marauders. Not a big deal. Those are not a major enemy, but it does help out. 20 dead. Nice. One attack, one salvos, a bunch of enemies dead. I like it. Oh, man. Speaking of artillery, I'm currently imagining, and I'm not sure why I'm being so nostalgic today, but I am. I'm currently imagining the artillery from Napoleon Total War. Oh, the beauty. I would love another gunpowder base Total War, but... It's crazy because you've got so many different fan bases now within Total War for very different types of games. So it'll be interesting to see what they do in the future. Now, here we have 81. Not a lot left. We're just blowing a bunch of man meat apart right now. We're turning them into spaghetti. Just a bunch of spaghetti people. They're still trying though. Imagine doing that. If anything, you would want to have loose formations. If you had loose formations with your marauders advancing, then you would have a much easier time surviving. Imagine if they were all based out. Based out? Spaced out. Where all around here, they were in a massive loose formation, but they can't do that. But if they could, oh, it would be so good. I would use that. It would be a great way to advance 
like in the old days where you would have a loose formation to avoid artillery or other things like that. And then when they're charged by knights, they're in a lot more trouble. But here the Marauders are like, you know what? If we don't look at it, we don't have to know when we die. We'll be back. We'll be back. No, I believe you. You certainly will be. No! All right. Now, I still do have my missile chariot as well. We're going to get them later. They've got some Nurglings up here. These are quite annoying. They're very good at just absorbing what I have. But in terms of animations, they're one of my favorite units in the game. I find them just incredible. They're just insane to look at. I can't believe that they were able to do that. If you saw Total War Warhammer back in, like, what, 2016? And you compared it to what's here now, it just, it's so different. Look at that. They're adorable. I hate them so much, but they're adorable. And now they're unstable and leaving. Oh yeah, I remember when summoning was made to be temporary because multiplayer. That's why I've always been of the mind that multiplayer should be balanced separately from single player. Because you should be able to have fun according to lore in single player. That to me is a good time. That to me is probably what people want. Now we've got Aspiring Champions over here, we've got some Chaos Warriors too. We've got, of course, Festus who's advancing a little bit. He's not going too far, he's not able to do too much, but wait until we get a little bit closer to him. Then we'll really shoot him and take him down, and hopefully we'll kill him, or at least eliminate him for now as we fight everyone else. I know, it's been a much slower battle, but I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed just kind of like talking to all of you and sharing my thoughts like it was a little bit of a live stream in some way, where you just will more freely talk in a more freeform manner. Or that's my approach to it anyway. Ooh. Rancid visitations. Quite a bit of damage. I was actually wondering what they hit me with, and now I know. That's why I love playing in a replay, because I can't always catch all of the little details of what's going on. Because I'm so busy trying to manage stuff. Not for this battle. This battle wasn't nearly as active, but I think I was like looking somewhere else and I saw the damage and pulled back. But again, it's actually really good that he's over here in the middle of a group, because if I shoot at him, then guess what? I'm also gonna hit some Chaos Warriors. There we go. The chariots are here. Oh, man. Aspiring champions. That's all that they are. They're just a bunch of college dropouts. They're doing their best, but it doesn't really matter. We're just tearing them up, man. Here comes our Luminarch again. Nine shots left. Ooh, Festus. He has taken so much more damage. They're getting closer. They're still not here yet, but they are getting closer. Come on. The beauty of the now. Just get to witness it. Oh, he's going to go down soon. Is that not beautiful? 1,700 health. The missile chariot, the artillery, the heroes all moving in. 1,300, 1,200, dropping. It's getting faster. He's like, oh, crap. I should have zigged when I should have zagged. Or I zigged when I should have zagged. That's how it goes. Oh, there we go. Okay. He's out. Look at that. Gone. Then, over here, we're just going to fight a group of what? Aspiring champions. My adventuring party is going to break them down. I love using Warrior Priest. I played one in Warhammer Online back in the day. Some of you will know that from my prior stories about that. I led a order guild or regiment called Cleansing Flame. I remember working with other dwarfs, other role-playing guilds, building the first order summit, which is really funny because we played on a server called Ostermark. And unfortunately, Warhammer Online didn't last for a very long time. And that was like my last serious time really playing an MMO outside of like EVE Online years later. But I remember that Destruction, which is what the other side was called. We had Order versus Destruction. So Chaos and Dark Elves and all of them were fighting on the same side. And right now, I don't really need to explain too much. I feel like if you know Total War, and I assume most people do if they're here on our final part, then you're able to see what's happening right now. And they're just charging in, which means I get to just send some units in and have some fun. Now, I didn't like having my Watchmen way out over here, so I'll be using my Jade Wizard to really patch them up and to try to keep them alive, because things are pretty brutal at the moment. But I remember that destruction was incredibly disorganized, which tracks right. They had so much drama, but we really ran a tight ship. I mean, we dominated the battlegrounds. We were destroying them. In roleplay, 
and in actual combat because the way that I like to do roleplay for my roleplaying guilds and it might not surprise you that I ran a roleplaying guild back in WoW as well uh, is that I like to do things I, d I hate it just tavern chatter if you know what I'm talking about then you know now I don't judge people who do it because I understand it I'm just letting you know what I personally hate I get it there's a time and place to regale your friends with tells and to play a role and talk about the things you've done but what about if you actually did things and so that's what I did I played a paladin back in WoW and what I did I led aggressive roleplay based PV like PvP events it doesn't mean that we're being like hark ye a fair eyes right in the middle of a battle but we would fight that battle and then it would just be for in character reasons there would be forum posts there would be showdowns. I remember when I was meant to disappear from the game, I had a duel with like one of the more famous board players at that time, a Forsaken Warrior, and we both fell off of the, I believe, the Lachmadon Bridge, so our fates were left mysterious. Look, I was younger, all right? Not the best writing in the world, but I was younger, and it was a great way for me to open up any like comeback in the future and all of that. Oh, man. It was wild. So let's have a look at the battle and what we're actually doing right now. Spawn of Nurgle, they're dying right now. They have two kills. I've got my first granite shields. Granite shields over here. My dwarfs in the middle being supported by halberdiers. Over here on the right-hand side is where we've got great swords. Our hero is also moving in. We've broken so many of them. They're already just shattered right now. 82 kills for one group. 12 kills for my fourth Everheim Watchman group. We've got my knights who are now going to be moving from behind to go after what's left. And so we've already broken all of their forces in. We just need to go after and chase them down. That's what we're going to do now. I mean, that's all that there was. After losing Festus, they had nothing more. Now, unfortunately, we did have some friendly fire here, and I had to, like, stop firing after that. But, hey, I minimize a lot more friendly fire than I used to, all right? So we're doing just okay. But look at all the blood over here. We just shattered them. We destroyed them. And it just took a bit of time. Good positioning, good placement, and time. But there it is right now. The Crusader, Luther Nimitz. Right before the men. Well, behind the men, rather. Yeah, okay. Not as heroic looking, but he's done it. He's done his part. We've got our standard over here. It's a bit dark to see, but that'll clear up. We'll get rid of the chaos and clear it up. Yeah, see, they're fleeing, so we just get to chase after all of them, and it's over after that. We just get to cut them down and call it a good day. Goodbye there. Ooh. Come on. Kill that nerd first. Do it. Make him pay. Perfect. Oh, beheaded. All right, we did it. A close victory for our side. We lost only 34. Again, like I said before, for the prior battle, it's all about how carefully we maneuver in a battle. So my cannons took out over 200. My knights took out nearly 200. One with only five shy. That's really good. My great swords are able to perform well. All in all, I feel like it's really the combination of our leadership, our royal priest, captain, Jay wizard, and a grand crusader, or an elector. All right, so we won that battle. We beat them. Festus was easily taken out. It was a long fight, though. I mean, that to me is rather indicative of what Nurgle is. You've got to take your time and just break right through them. So now, we're going to go after what is left. The Doctor is retired. We gain more replenishment. We get so many great traits. It's awesome for us. All right. So now we'll upgrade that area. We'll come over here. We're going builds. We've got a Talisman of Preservation, which is quite nice. We've got the Plague, unfortunately. So I'm going to come over here and... What then? Let's see. Let's see. No, we're largely good to go, I think. Yeah, we'll just get a campsite. We'll get it out of the way. We've got many new levels, too. So... We're going to pick up Stand Your Ground for one. Artillery Master for another one. Done. Let's have a look over here. And I saw that they had evidently learned, and they being modders, have learned how to add regions to the map. So, man, even when they're done updating three, we're going to have just years of insane mods. It's going to be around for a while, as long as they are permitted. All right, we'll come over here and work on our Pegasus 2. More of a charge bonus and all that for magic for our friend over here Otto von Walden let's see he's got all of his magical abilities so we'll pick up blade master just for the hell of it we'll come over here and pick up hard to hit yeah we'll make him harder to hit sure why not and after that I mean what do we have for the team we've got some good stuff somewhere right yeah we do we've got some good items a weapon as well we've got a talisman look at that oh it's awesome 
Okay. For an enchanted item, we've got nothing. But no, we True picked up a lot. Of Sigma. Who needs a new talisman? Of Sigma. Does anyone over here need a new talisman? You've got a talisman of protection. We can give you a better one. Physical resistance. You know what? Take that one for now. Sigma. All right. Here's another one. We'll give you that awesome one. The blue rarity. That's the one that you want. Look at all the items we have. It's pretty crazy, right? Okay. Let's see here. Unequipped. We've got a white cloak of Ulrich. You know what? I'll give him that instead. That's a really good one too. So there we go. All right. For ancillaries, do we really need anything at all? I think we're mostly good. We've got everything. Oh, those shades are so good. I love them. They're great. All right. That's what I have dealt up for right now. We have moved pretty much everywhere where we need to. Huntsman Our Huntsman General has what he needs. So what else do we need to give him? You know what? We'll come over here. Arrow of Akshi. So he's got that now. I actually want to see his army in combat. Hopefully we've got a good opportunity to do so. But for right now, we're just going to end our turn. We are done at the moment. We have conquered so much more. Look at what's left. We have broken them down. We only need a few more areas and we'll have the entire empire. We've got a new turn now. Let's see. What do we need to go after? We could finish off what's over here. Yeah, Rulek. I never liked you, Rulek. You shall rue the day you came to our lands. And so we kill them off just to get a bit more experience and to ensure that our people are safe. That is what we are worried about. Gelt will not be a traitor. No, he's a preserver of the empire. Now, what do we want? We've got so much. We'll put a point into Mentor. That's a good one. Share a bit of experience and all that. He'll come back over to Von Rocken to just chill out. And then we could go after, let's see. Yeah, let's go after the remnants of their little armies. I command here. Here, we'll have Bruna rejoin our force. Well, no, 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 no. Let's not do that yet. First off, we'll take out that force. It's a very small one. They're gone now. There. We gain more experience because we can't let them go. Just lore-wise, it feels weird. Oh, yeah. Go on. We'll get money. Yeah, that feels heretical. Okay? It doesn't feel right. We'll come back down over here to replenish for a turn or two. I've got Klaus von Sol. And we could auto-resolve over here. It's only a garrison. Who cares? If they truly had, like, a mighty force, I would fight them, but they do not. So, we've got Middenheim, and dear God, we've gained so much for it, though. Good for us. All right, we'll come back over to Grudenwald. Is it like that point where we just kind of clean up what's left? It might be. It could. It could be. Maybe. All right, we'll take that. Let's see. For Luther, let's put a point into Augury, Okay. And then for Wolfgang, for we shall do what? Put a point into Scarred Veteran. We've got I Otto von Walden. Sigma. We'll put a point over into Devastating Charge for fun. And we've done most of what we need to do. Now I over here for Bernhard, he is also ranked up. Unfortunately, we do have to play for three more turns. Boo. What does the Emperor bid? Let's see, what do we need? We have all of our melee abilities. We've got a, dedic a dedication to Ulrich. Yeah, here's a point over into the Emperor's Finest to enhance our melee. Not by much, but by a little bit. Yes, my lord. Yeah, I think I want to do like more small campaigns too for all the custom characters because that's really where my interest is. The Legendary Lords are fine, but for me, I really love custom characters because you get to just do your own thing for it. You get to just have fun, make up what you want, comet. and I find that really enjoyable. Two points in a Flamestorm. And we got it. We'll get Arcane Conduit later on. To the Not that we really run out of magic too often. Oh, well, here's a Middenheim Great Temple of Ulrich. That's really nice. Really nice to have. But for now, let's grab walls. Let's grab over here. No, no, no. We need a Night Watch. So we need to get rid of any type of issues here, like corruption. Okay. Then we'll grab a tap room because corrupted people need to drink. Then we'll grab paved roads because we need to travel a little bit faster. And we'll grab a Shrine of Sigmar to, again, reduce corruption quickly. We'll upgrade Middenstag. And there goes my money, but Middenheim is not in a much better place. So we Sigma now have Middenheim. The Black Pit will build a weaving house to earn more money. 
got over here Huntsman the Huntsman General will go after Salzenman. And we'll auto resolve that one because, again, it's just a very easy fight. Done. Ooh, we get Greatsword Comrades. I do want to see that. Now, I've got so many mods, I believe the size of my mod folder is over 100 gigs right now for our current campaign, which is pretty wild. I'll grab my dedication to Tell. Tell? I don't know. How would you pronounce it? I have no idea. I'd love to know. But I'll put two points over here into Deadly Blade. Done. We need to be able to hit people in the face. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. God, I love mods so much. Yeah, I just like very mundane characters who have to achieve extraordinary things. That, to me, is really fun and interesting. I'll grab builds again because we want to grow fast, so we're able to build up what we need to actually improve the region. I won't collect any income because, well, there's really not much to pick up. So we only need to get Erengrad. We could probably help out Kislev if we wanted to kill some Skaven. I'll yeah. think about it. No. Yeah, we could do that, huh? Heiner, he's leveled up. Good for him. I'll put a point into Route Marcher for fun. Because he needs to travel more. I doubt it, but if he needs to. And that should do it. And now we could upgrade a few other locations for more money. Oof. Or not. I'll grab a recruitment building. Why not? A new commandment. We'll come over here and gain more control. There we go. Oh, another area. Oh my goodness, we've got two areas under our control. Now we're able to end our turn. Look at that. See, I told you, those were like our ultimate battles that we had to fight. Sword of Cain claimed. Lucky. I want to be corrupted by a magical blade and it allows me to blunder everyone to death. That's incredible. You would get great customer service all the time. All right. In the video game. But over here in Erengrad, we're just going to auto-resolve. They have like what? Three units. That's it. What an insult to me. I should purge all of them for that. What a slap in my face. Oh, I only deserve three. No, I need to fight everyone all at once. I've been trying to. I've been trying to set up like major battles, but they keep on providing a weak showing. We'll go after Norden. We got that too. Oh man, we beat them. What else is left, huh? We've got Brass Keep. I could allow them to build up at Brass Keep for fun. Just to allow them one last hoorah. I could be kind like that. I might think about it. Who knows? We've got over here the Grand Crusader. We've got Bernhard as well. I mean, I've got all these armies. They are quite powerful. Ooh, wait, hold on. There's a little tiny army over here. A little baby one. An army of weaklings at that. We'll come down to Talapine. I'll bring you guys. No, you'll stay there for now, okay? And Ready. Bernhard, you'll move over to her gig. It feels so weird to have cornered my enemies so much. I've not gotten to do that before, I don't believe. Usually it's like, okay, I've got to like conquer quickly. It's like end things as quickly as possible. But here, I've cornered them. They're Prince stuck. What can Emperor. they do to me? Tickle me? Woohoo! Yeah, I'll make a little Pillsbury Doughboy sound. That's it. They can't stop me. Their days are numbered. And thankfully, or unfortunately for them, I can't count that high. So... There's not many days left for them. Huh? Yeah. All right. Han Schneider. Let's give you sure and true. There. Yeah, be sure and true. And now we just get ready. So again. Oh, wait. Hold on. Who's over here? <gasps> I knew it. I knew he was coming by. Okay. Bellicor, the Dark Master. We need to find someone to get over there quickly. Who could get over there in time? Let's see. We could try to get the Crusader. Let's get him to rush on down. Ah, that would be a good one to fight. The oh, Dark Master, Bellicor. Yeah, that's my evil demon voice. Do you like it? I think it's okay. We've got Klaus von Sol over here. So we're going to take on Bellicor. Is it going to be difficult? Let's see. No. You know what? Screw him. He's only level 12. What a loser. He's gone. <laughs> we could sneeze at him and he'll fall over. So he's gone now. Bellow the ball. Yeah, you guys are too funny funny if only he had a better army but we took him down now let's go for one more battle Bernhard, you could do it or hans you could do it you know what Bernhard, you've been a star here for quite some time let's go after them in one more battle we're gonna do a battle live oh yeah it's been a minute so we're gonna do a battle live 
Malachi will move over here. For my other units, we need to move up right away. We need to break down an enemy gate. If we do that, we'll be better off. They've got gates. And they've got, of course, their fort towers. So we're going to have to deal some damage as we move up. We're going to take some damage as well. And that's okay. And off we go. So here comes Malachi. See, I actually fought the battle. And I had used Malachi to break down like four towers. But that replay was corrupted. So now we're doing it live. It's time to do it live. And that should be interesting. We already have six kills, which is nice. We don't need too many. We just need to move over here to attack a few enemies over where we actually are fighting our battle. See, Malachi drew over so many units. And I could send in units alone, but I'm choosing not to. We're going to work together. We're going to take the time. And we're just going to break through what's here. So I want to hurt some Chosen. Let's use our piercing bolt of burning for one. We'll do that. Malachi continues to move forward. We've got a thunder barge bomb. If we wanted to, we could probably bomb someone. Let's move over here real quick, though. Just keep on moving. No skirmish mode, okay? We'll just move up and see what we're able to do. It's going to be interesting, I think, depending on what we land on top of. Like over here, we've got, what, marauders? Marauders aren't really a problem, so we'll actually save our bombs. You're not even worth it, okay? Killing you wouldn't be worth it. That's how weak and pathetic you are. Over here, we've got a Witch Hunter. We'll move him up. F to move him into melee. There we go. We'll have him advance right now. And so we've got Constantine Franken. Okay, so Franken. I'm going to have you use Piercing Bolt to Burning again. We've got Marauders again, but those aren't the ones that we're worried about. We'll go after Chaos Warriors. Those deal a little bit more damage, so we might as well hit them, right? I think so. We want our enemies to group up. We want to hurt them. Oh, they're running. But look at that damage. That alone changes up everything. They're going to lose so many more units because of what we just did. That's really good for us. And it looks like my gunners are doing fine at the moment. We try to shoot these Chosen. Maybe we get a few shots in. I think that would be fun. So there we go. We get a few shots in. We kill a few Chosen. Perfect, right? I think so. Malachi's killed 32. We've got dwarves who are flying. I mean, imagine you've got the height of technology. You need biology to fly in Warhammer until you see what we have here. And again, that's truly what I want. I want flying units. I want flying units to be utilized in Warhammer. All right, so we've got our Thunder Barge Bomb for fun. Let's just use one. Boom! And they were bombed. Okay, a Cinder Blast Shell. Strong versus multiple combatants. We'll shoot this group of Chaos Warriors for fun. Okay. Oh. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's flying in. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay, sorry. That was beautiful art. We'll keep on using our shots here, like our broadside right. We got a broadside left as well. We got more magic over here. We're still attacking, what, their main gate, correct? Or is it finally broken? It's finally broken. That's good. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll move up our other units. So we've got a lot of other melee units. We'll move them all up. Right over here. If we can help it. Yeah. What, halberds here? Slayers, great swords, all of that, all together. My gunners, they're not getting a lot of kills, but they're just here to kind of just go after what they are able to hit, you know? If they're able to hit something, cool. I'm trying to minimize our damage. I'm being, I think, very wise about how we're approaching battle. We've got more chosen to go after. Malachi's killed over 100, which is awesome. Correct? Correct. Okay, so we'll come over here real quick. Let's fly over them. And then Thunder Barge Bomb! Oh, there we go. 121 dead. Okay. Then we'll use another broadside and we'll attack this group of Chaos Warriors and we'll damage them again. I've got a burning head I could use as well. So what we could do, we could use a burning head over here, maybe hit like some marauders and then pivot it and hit a few Chaos Warriors. So we'll try that out. Fun. A little bit of fun. And then to follow up, we'll use another ability over here, our Jufbar 42 pounders. Yeah. Don't know where that comes from, but it hits somewhere. Look at that. The Burning Head bounces back. Damages the Marauders even more. They're dropping like flies. Burned! Delicious flies. Ah, edible flies. And they're dead. We'll use more Piercing Bolts of Burning, and we'll go after another group. 
It's Chaos Warriors. Done. Malachi will come back real quick. He's coming back. And so look at my losses so far. Imagine you're Chaos and you're like, what do we do, man? We can't even hurt them. Yeah, you don't do nothing. You die, idiots. No, you charge out, you use towers, you don't really have too much to because you can't beat Malachi alone. I mean, how could you beat him? It's Malachi, baby. Alright, so there we go, our bomb again. His kills just jumped up immediately. Here's a Cinder Blast shell. We'll go after something fun. Let's see, let's go after Chosen, because you know Chosen are meant to be strong. They're meant to be strong. Are they strong? I'm sure, probably. Now, I've been saving my flyers over here, my gyrocopters. Let's bring them in. They're going to come over here and shoot at various targets, and we'll see what we're able to do. All right. General Bernhard, he's close by. The gate is broken. We could charge in right away. We're choosing not to. I'm choosing not to. I'm going to have my Chaos Warriors just use another piercing bolt of burning right now. We'll attack what we can. We might even just clip a few, but we'll do it anyway. Come on, let's try it out. Ah, there we go. Their just lives are diminishing. Okay, back over to Malachi, who's been able to kill so many. We've got 1,500 left to bite and kill, so we'll keep on doing that. And I feel like I'm doing a pretty okay job. So we'll attack Manticores. I'll do it. I'll do it right now. I've got my flying units in, and I don't think I'll use bombers as much. They're actually not that bad. But I think they're better whenever you're fighting early on and you're wanting to like bomb groups of units. But later on, I'll try and just use things that could take down like larger critters, larger monsters. Like over here, we're killing aspiring champions. They're dropping quickly. I'm taking a lot of damage. That's really good. I'm being pretty decent with my damage management, I think. So we're not even like charging in just yet. Not just yet. We're just kind of hurting them. We'll go after these Summoners of Rage. I've got some more broadside attacks I could use. Oh, wait, hold on. We've got some broader horsemen. There's no one on the wall, so here's what we'll do. We'll get our gunners to actually climb up over here. They'll be tired by the time they climb up, but if they climb up right now, guess what? They're going to be able to shoot down at our enemies. So let them take damage. That's okay. Here they come right now. They're moving in. Malachi Makaisen, he's close by. We're going to have him, let's see, attack another group. Marauder Horseman. We've got our other attacks close by, our 42 pounder attack. Let's see, I've got my gyro bombers. We're not using them yet. So I'm going to have, let's see, we're going to armor piercing in my launch. Okay, so I want you to go after Marauder Horsemen who have ranged attacks. Okay. Malachi has killed over 200. My gunners are moving in. I've got some other units close by. What I can do, I can move in right now. Take over the front square. Go after the horsemen if I truly want to, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay. There's a giant close by. I do want to go after that giant. Just go after him. Debuff him. Oh, wait. Don't hold ground. That should do it. Flaming Sword of Ruin close by. Burn hard. I want you to use what you can. So there we go, we've debuffed everyone close by. I'm gonna move in my great swords, but also my slayers too. I mean, anything I bring in right now is gonna damage what they have. It's gonna be one example. Hero, chariots, things like that. So we just we just need to move in now. The gatehouse should be broken. So they should charge in. That's what I'm hoping anyway. If not, we're gonna be in trouble. Alright, let's buff up Bernhard a little bit. It's very strong, but we can make it stronger. We've got some Marauders close by. I'm going to hit them, too. I've got my Witch Hunter. He's going to just shoot and kill things. I've got over here my Scouts that are close by. I can have them probably bomb a little bit, right? So let's get one Bomber. Move over here. Or even this one. Well, they don't have a lot, do they? No, 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 no. We're fine. We're fine. I could have my Bombers instead move over here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now we just use a bomber. Bomb the hell out of like one target. Hold on, we're not done. We come back real quick. Bomb a little bit more. Look at that. And that's just like free kills that we're able to activate. 
then we just allow them to shoot what they want. I've got another bombing group that could just go through what some chaos warriors. All right, here we go. Let's watch that happen. Ooh, let's come back. Look at that. Shift one, just right through them. Oh, what a showcase. We're not done yet. You think that would deal a little bit more damage? It doesn't, but we did at least hurt them a little bit. So let's move back. I think I'll get my other flying gears to go after the Manticore that's broken just to make sure it's gone for good. There's two broken Manticores. We've got some great swords who've taken a lot of damage, unfortunately, which I don't like. We'll try to help out a little bit. Let's see, let's go after this giant for one. I'm gonna use a flaming sword of ruin again, adding a lot more damage to everything that we do here. My gunners, I'm gonna have them either attack these, yeah, chaos warriors, or just kind of do what they can, okay? That's all that they really can do. They're gonna come over here on the walls, and let's go into slow motion briefly. And sure, they're gonna lose a melee, but if we can get others to attack by shooting at them, that's gonna do it, right? Yeah. Oof. Just shoot them. Just shoot them. You've got bullets, okay? Yeah, I've got one group that's just losing so much. I didn't really expect them to lose so much while I'm here. But I'm going to move in more units. In fact, if we want to, I could just lock up a group. Let them charge in. We'll debuff everyone again. Now, look at that debuff. That debuff is so powerful. The Hawkland Rune Fang is, to me, one of the more powerful ones. Okay? So, we've got melee defense down by 24. Armor down by 60. They're going to be so weak. And there we go. I'll use my piercing bolts of burning to go after some more plague bearers of Nurgle. Hurt some more enemies. We'll buff up these great swords again. Okay, Bernhard continues to attack. We'll use him. I've got over here my whistle and green fang to reduce their vigor and speed. Just do what you can, right? That's all you can do. Then shoot Chaos Warriors. Okay. I've got other flying units. We're going to have them come after other targets, like over here. We'll have them go after whatever's not broken. And that was our final battle. I mean, we came through. We fought everyone. Malachi to whatever, 300 kills. He's not like a quick killer, but he's able to just build them up, right? He's able to just have fun and get those kills over time. But Bernhard and team, they did it. Bernhard has been like one of our more primary protagonists, him and Otto, so it's been cool to see him do so well. We had him pop up to fight the orcs on south and he's just been crushing it. So we've beaten everyone. Let's go after what's left. I've got gunners. Now I want these gunners on the walls. See, that was my original goal is have all the gunners on the walls. If I can, just to shoot down at whoever. Because if we do that, it's easy for me, easy for everyone. I've got one group of great swords who can probably move back. We'll have them attack a little bit. We'll come over here to attack these other units. I'll go get them real quick, just to make it a little bit easier. And the battle's won. And so there we go. Let me know if you prefer live battles like what I just did versus replays and where I go over the battle that I did let me know. I would love to know if we can get like some type of like overwhelming feedback. That would be really cool for future Total War series. It's like your input alone would really create new content based on what you want. So if you want to have your voice heard, it's a great way for that to happen. But we took Brass Keep. We beat everything. The game is over now. We've got a long campaign victory. And we are better for it. Thank you for watching, everyone. It's over. In battle. Beautiful. We lost only 172. They lost how many? Everything. Look at what we've done. We've won our campaign. Glory to you, glory to us. The war will go ever on, for that is the nature of this turbulent world. Before this moment, we can claim victory. There's my long victory. All right. Here are recruit rank plus 10. We've done it all. We've done what we've needed to do. And so there we are now. We could have a look over here at records. Of course, we've got our short victory as well. Look at that. All that we were able to pick up. We did so much. The beta is where we began. 
and it took a while. All the drama of what we had to do to get here, and now we're finally here, and that feels really good. You know what? We should probably move a little bit faster, just for a little while. But that is our campaign. Gelt brought peace to the Empire. We had many incredible battles, and we made it here, so there's my Empire campaign for Total War Warhammer 3. Let me know what you want to see in the future, what mods you want me to use, anything else like that, and I'll be there.